What's up Team Buckhouse, Jonathan Buckhouse here, and it's time for another resort review. This is the video series where we go to a brand new ski resort, we absolutely rip it, we shred it, we see what this resort has to offer, then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna give the score from zero to 100 and tell you who this resort is for. Now the way we're gonna get the score from zero to 100 is by going over 10 categories, each category getting a score from zero to 10. Zero is not apical, meaning they don't have it at all. One is terrible, five is average, and 10 is best in the world. Now those are the rules we play by, that's how we're gonna get the score. Now some resorts might get a bad score, but it doesn't mean it's a bad resort. Really what matters is who this resort is for and we will tell you who this resort is for. So smash the subscribe button and let's jump into today's resort, Angel Fire in New Mexico. Now Angel Fire has an elevation of 10,677 feet, a vertical drop of 2,077 feet, 560 skiable acres, and 210 inches of snow each year. Now let's jump into our first category, lift prices. How expensive is it to ride at Angel Fire? And coming in at $89 for the day, I thought that was actually pretty fair for this ski resort, especially with the amount of vertical drop you get at this place. Most resorts of this size or caliber tend to be over $100 for the day. So $89, I thought was awesome. So I gave them a seven when it came to lift prices. Now lodging, we're gonna wanna stay on the mountain, ski in, ski out. And they actually do have a really nice lodge at Angel Fire that you can stay at. So I gave them a seven on the lodging, but if you really wanna hook up Team Hawk House, support the dream. Our buddy Chris James has a condo in Angel Fire. You can Airbnb. I have all of the information. For Chris's place, we stayed there when we went to Angel Fire. It was incredible. It was awesome. Support Team Huffhouse. Support Chris. He's one of our boys by booking through his condo and I guarantee you're going to have an incredible time. It's literally two minutes from the mountain and it's a really nice place. So if you're going to say Angel Fire, Chris's condo. Done. Do that. Now ease of access, how easy is it to get to Angel Fire Ski Resort? And it's not the easiest. You could definitely drive there. You do have to kind of go over these passes that are a little like switchbacky, kind of like not gnarly, but slow going. New Mexico has like the slowest roads in the world. Like the speed limits blow my mind. But if you were to fly into Santa Fe, you have a two hour drive to get there. And once again, you gotta go for a pretty windy road pass to get to the resort. Once you're there, I mean, it's super easy to get to the resort from the city of Angel Fire. So when it came to ease of access, I gave them a four. You'll get there. It's not totally gnarly but it's not easy either. Now, if you're wondering why we went to Angel Fire Ski Resort in New Mexico, it's because Chris has a condo. But also, we have a goal to ride every resort in the United States. And the way you guys can track our progress is by going to resortskimaps.com. This is a resort map of every resort in the United States. All the green resorts are the ones that we have been to. You can click on them, watch the video there. If you click on a red one, nothing will happen because we haven't been to that ski resort yet. So you can click on the top right hand corner, check out our resort schedule, see if we're coming your way to your resort. So you can take time off of work and shred with us or skip school, or whatever. We rode with obviously our buddy Chris at Angel Fire and that's his mountain, you know, that's his home mountain. So he knew it so well, he was able to show us all the places make our experience there better. And that's why I love riding with the locals at their resort. So one, show up and help us make the best resort reviews possible. Two, comment down below all the information we need to know that I missed out on. So all the people that are looking to come to Angel Fire has all the insider secrets. And then on top of that, just check out resortschemaps.com because it is the coolest place. I book all my trips through, or not book, but I schedule and like look up where I'm gonna travel and everything through that as well as just, it's a fun place to waste like two hours every day. So check out resortschemaps.com. Now chairlifts, we gotta get up the mountain and they have seven lifts to get us up there. Two or high speed lifts, which is pretty impressive. Overall, the chairlifts got you all around the mountain, everywhere you wanted to be. The park has its own specific chairlift, which we absolutely love. So when it came to chair lifts, I gave them a six on the lifts. Now runs, we got up, we got to get down. How are the runs? And they're, they're okay. Like pretty beginner on scale. There are some tree sections that you can ride, which is really nice. And they do have 81 trails, which is a lot of runs, but overall it's pretty beginnerish difficulty for the runs. So I gave them a four on the runs. Now park, I love the park. They have a park specific chairlift. How was the park? It was sick, there's a bar at the top. We'll get, we'll get into that in a second. But the park was fun. It's definitely a beginnerish intermediate park. Nothing advanced or large there, but the ability to get lap after lap after lap, it was a good fun time. So when it came to park, I gave them a four on the parks.
Now, if you want to support the dream and let everyone know you are a part of Team Upcast, consider snagging an Evolution sticker. If you're a skier out there, we have all of our merch in the ski version as well. But grab an Evolution sticker, throw it on the side of your helmet, let everybody know that you're a part of Team Upcast, as well as it's how I afford to do all this traveling, guys. So if you snag the merch, you're supporting the dream in so many ways. We have shirts and hats and so many options. If you do snag it, tag me on my Instagram. I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs in the vlogs. And uh, yeah, overall, it comes with guaranteed compliments. Why aren't you snagging the merch? Like, come on. Now, food. You're going to get hungry. You're going to want to eat on the mountain. And, and they got plenty of food options for you between the lodge food and like a Mexican restaurant that's nearby as well as the town's got a bunch of awesome food around. Overall, the food was not an issue. And then there's the bar on top of the park, which I thought for a park rider is like every like cliche park rider's dream is to have the bar sitting on top of it. And it like looks over the park. Like I like having a beer and watch people spread the park. I, nothing's better than that. Like literally the best view of the park. So when it came to food, I gave them an eight on the food. Views and scenery, how sick are the views? And they're they're like underwhelming. Like you'd think being at 10,000 feet, you're gonna see some incredible views and like not really. I felt like you were still kind of like the smallest thing around or like equal par with all the other mountains. Like you weren't seeing crazy anything really. I was pretty let down on the views and scenery. So I gave them a four on views and scenery. Now employees, we don't cover snow conditions because it varies, you know, some could be great years, some could be bad years, you know, East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, all different snow types. So we don't cover snow conditions, but we do cover employees because we have had a Keystone employee absolutely ruin our day in the mountain. You can check that video out right there. We also have had Keystone employees absolutely make our day in the mountain. So we cover employees because you could get that dude that gives you a crappy rental or gives you a great rental, goes above and beyond, make sure that rental fits you so you have a great day in the mountain. That's why we cover employees. So Angel Flyers employees got a seven because of one dude, I can't remember his name, but he was an instructor, but he rode with us the entire time through the park and his vibe and energy was insane. He made everybody who he was around day better. And that type of dude working for your resort is a big deal. So I gave him a seven when it came to employees. And the last category, the would I go back? Because I wouldn't go back to a ski resort. Why would I recommend it to you guys? And on Angel Fire, I gave him a seven on the would I go back? I'd absolutely go back. It was a great time, fun resort, small resort, but overall the town, the stay in my buddy's condo, like whole vibe, everything that we had there was an incredible time. And I really enjoyed our time at Angel Fire. So I gave him a seven on the would I go back? Now, if you're enjoying this video or you wanna see if I reviewed your ski resort, you can either go check out the resort review playlist right here or go back to resortskimaps.com. We have all of the resort scores. You can click on the stats or whatever and like see them all in order and see how this resort compared to other resorts in the area. So with Angel Fire, a score from zero to 100, they got a special like a 58, eight points above average. This small New Mexico resort was incredible. And I actually, so many of these New Mexico resorts blew my mind. I can't believe so many people are going to Colorado when New Mexico is right down the road with just as many amazing resorts. So who is Angel Fire for? I would say the beginner intermediate family, you know, the eight to 12 year old kids that you want to just have them rip around the mountain, you know, do mellow runs, have a good time, eat some good food, stay on the resort. Like that's who this resort is for. For the beginner park riders, you know, if you're just getting into train park, you don't want to ride anything super gnarly, you want to get lots of laps, but not being an intimidating park, this is the place for you. So with that Team Elkhouse, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow with another video because it is daily on this snowboard channel.